Welcome to the W3 Schools CSS Syntax Tutorial. A CSS rule set consists of a selector and a declaration block. The selector points to the HTML element you want to style, in this case an H1 element. The declaration block contains one or more declarations separated by semicolons. One declaration here, and one declaration here. Each declaration includes a property name, in this case color, and a value, blue, separated by a colon. A CSS declaration always ends with a semicolon, and declaration groups are surrounded by curly braces. This selector points to the P element, which means all P elements will be affected by this rule, like this and this. This declaration specifies the text color. Let's try and change it. And this declaration specifies the text alignment. In this example, we have put one declaration on each line to make it easier to read. But you can also have the whole rule set on a single line. This works just fine and it saves space. Comments in CSS are used to explain your code. It can help when you look at the source code at a later date. CSS comment starts with slash asterisk and ends with asterisk slash. Comments are ignored by browsers, so you can put anything you want in them. And it will not be displayed in the output. Comments can also span multiple lines, like this one. This was a short introduction to CSS syntax. You can learn more about CSS syntax from our other chapters or videos. Thank you for watching.